Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be your March mid-month reading. It's going to be general, it could even be love, it depends on what I get and what vibe I'm getting off the cards. I like to do things very intuitively too. So let's get started. Please give the video a like, thumbs up, maybe you want to watch the video first and decide if you want to do that. That's perfectly fine, you don't have to. But yeah, let's get straight into this because I don't want to, don't want to blabber too much. Okay, Sag, what do we have for you? Oh shit. Wheel of Fortune. <sighs> Cycles ending. I also see this as it's the, yeah, endings, but also beginnings. This is very, you're about to hit, it's gonna hit the jackpot. Luck, luck is coming after it seemed unlikely to. I feel like this is going to be a very indirectly. It's just going to come. It's going to hit you like a ton of bricks. It's like, oh my god, my, I just got my hard work. is finally going to pay off. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, Sag. Let's see what that is. What else for Sag? What's going on? What is this? Oh, cards are flying all over the... Damn place. Where'd that card go? Oh my god. King of Wands. It's got loyalty. You were very loyal to. I just got your vision. Very loyal to your plans. Despite you were you had trouble a minute there, seeing seeing the what could, what good could actually come out of this? You were so close to the change and you, you kept at it instead of just giving up. Cause the cycle, it's like, I just see this thing where it's like, you're so close and it just starts spinning. It just began. I, I just picture someone, it's like someone working in a really dead end job. They're not, they're about to leave, like they're not really getting much out of it. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they just get a promotion. Or they get, they start making so much more money, or they find an even better job. Think of it like that. Sag, things are about to, you're, you're on the verge of a huge breakthrough. Because you stayed, I love Sag's, they have a, like, in my opinion, they have a good work ethic. You stayed loyal to those plans. Instead of getting discouraged, I feel like I have an image, I have a vision, and I'm not letting go of that. You didn't, and now a stroke of luck is coming just like that. It could quite literally be just a raise, an even better job, promotion. I don't know why I'm getting this in such a business sense. I could, it depends on what else I get. Okay, what's, what do we have? What else do we have? Oh. Celebration. And also collaboration, I see. Three people. I just get like something around work friends. <laughs> you guys you guys are just having a toast because you've reached some sort of milestone because you stayed loyal to your vision. Yeah, you guys are you guys are toasting because you got a promotion or the hard work is paying off. Finally. The wheel is turning. So, like, so luck. I just get luck. We're in March. It's a very lucky time, I suppose. <laughs> Something about three people. I think this is just your co-workers. You guys are having a ball. Maybe you made more sales. Something around that. You guys are just all thriving. You guys are making money. You guys are doing good. But I think there was a moment there where you guys lost hope a little bit. But you guys stayed true to your vision. And that, that's a good work ethic. That's a good work ethic if I've ever seen one. You didn't let that, I just got, you didn't let that cloud your vision. You didn't let the struggle do that. It just made you want to aim higher. Because of that, it's finally paying off. You just got your luck, your money is coming in. Maybe you guys made a very, the biggest sale you've ever made. I don't want to keep getting something with sales. You could be in real estate, Sag, or something where you, it's sort of, I just got entre entrepreneur. You could be an entrepreneur. You could deal with other people. These are your coworkers. So you guys are all just. This is very. 
a very healthy workspace. You know how some, I feel like in the past, you have dealt with people, you know how bullying can occur in the workplace too? It's just a very negative space. Some people leave jobs for that. No harm, no foul, because I would too. It's about, you have to feel good while you're working, because if it's unbearable, like, you, what, who, wants to, who wants to be there? Like, come on. But this is a very, so you guys are friends. You guys are just, you help each other, you work together, and it, it's ultimately paying off. Hmm. Nine of Pentacles. Oh my god. I was actually... I hate when I think of things and I, I, I sort of let it go. I'm like, I'm not going to bring that up in the reading. But this morning, I got this... My, um, in my Animal Spirit deck, I got Slow and Steady Wins the Race. It was, it was such shade towards me because sometimes I expect instant results and sometimes the process can really <laughs> overwhelm me, but I'm working on that. Like, I'm not giving up on my vision. I feel like that's you. You're not giving up on your vision, Sag. Slow and steady wins the race. You were very loyal to your plans, as stupid as they seem to others. I feel like some people laughed at you. You had, you had such... You had bigger dreams for yourself. You were very loyal to your plans, so you're sticking with it. You have one vision. I see someone just looking in only one direction. There's there's no other way for me, I just got. And some people laughed at you because I feel like the only people that laughed at you, su successful people don't laugh at other successful people, if you don't, if you catch my drift. Those are usually only people that either didn't get the chances you did don't don't dream big you know they just they, they'd rather just stay in their nine to five which no harm no foul but some people aren't happy with the choices they make they take the easy route out where they know where they know they can make money but they're not necessarily happy in it look at that little smirk on your face so like I'm, I'm gonna prove them wrong that's you sad you're the king of wands slow and steady wins the race i also see that as paying attention to the smaller details you're one of those people that really, you're very analytical. <laughs> you work hard. The process doesn't really bother you, I don't think. For a minute there, you were feeling a little hopeless. You, oh, I'm getting something dark. You you almost gave in to what other people were saying. Like, oh, that, that's really stupid. You're not going to make money with that. Or you were in a period of debt. You weren't really pulling through and people were like, I told you so, I told you so. And... That sort of messed with you a little bit. I don't blame you. Sometimes when people are just... It can get to you a little bit. But. But. Things. Things. You finally had a breakthrough. I feel like this could be just a promotion. You're getting more money. Your hard work is paying off. Like, now, now it's like turning around. I just got... I told you so. Not you didn't tell me so. I told you so. Because look... I get, uh, this calls for celebration. You guys reached something. You guys reached a mile, milestone. And this is entrep entrepreneurship. You you guys maybe sold more or your company invested more. Or if you're in real estate, you guys made one big sale. <laughs> or you're celebrating with other coworkers because they did the same and you guys are just having a ball. This is a very healthy workplace environment as well. You guys just all want to help each other. You guys, you guys, they are your hype man. Because you can't really depend on anyone else, I don't think. I think your family or your other friends, I'm saying friends because I don't think you're, they're your true friends. You realize who your true friends are when you become successful. They either, you know when people talk down on your dreams, they're like, mm, that little that little noise they do. I saw this video the other day where people talk about jealousy. Yeah, some people don't want to see you successful, Sag. I'm getting that strongly. Some people just didn't believe in you. <laughs> now that you're, you've are you reached this milestone, best believe those same people are going to be like, can I have some money? Uh, how did you do that? Like, you, you were supposed to be unsuccessful like I thought you were. Nope. You didn't give up. You were loyal to their, your plans as small as... I feel like this also came into fruition very slowly. It was a very slow journey, but you had faith. 
you you knew this was worth um pursuing not only because you thought it would be effective but because it's where you're meant to be i'm so proud oh my god all the sages all the sages watching this like I, clap on the hands because instead of taking the easy way out and doing some being stuck in a job you don't like you're in a job you do love and you were willing to um it's got risk at all some people are too afraid to risk it all and they actually do more damage than good because they're not they're not taking risks they're not learning they're they're stuck in something they, they despise and some people they start out kind of poorly to kind of slow maybe you were in debt for a little bit there had a low income but as time went on and you you kept pushing towards this goal you're like i know i'm gonna make money out of this you are now whatever this is getting strong this is real estate or entrepreneurship but then but then when you look back at the people that were doing better than you for a time the time being there now it's almost like you're ahead of them it's not about being better than anyone. Some people just, it's their life, not yours. But see how that works? You're, it didn't come right away, but you didn't give up. And now you have even even better opportunity because you dreamed bigger. You get catch my drift? You dreamt bigger and it, it pulled off. You got lucky. Oh, oh my God. Sag, remember how I said some people don't really support you? They're fake. Some people are like, they're thinking to themselves. I, I just heard like, they just got lucky. It's almost like they're, they're still trying to downplay your success. They got lucky. It doesn't happen every day. But they're, mark my words, the only reason they're saying that is because they couldn't do it for themselves. Successful people do not bring down other successful people. Like you wouldn't see, um, it's not every day you see one successful entrepreneur try to bring down another successful entrepreneur. It's because they have better things to worry about. They're focused on their own grind. And I really like this too, because this is very lighthearted. It's like you're finding, maybe you're becoming friends with your coworkers. They believed in you. I'm getting that strongly. They believed in you. You believed in each other. And now you're taking on this journey with each other. Just a very healthy work environment. And that's what you need. That's what you needed, that's what you found, and that's amazing. Leave, I don't like these people of your past, your friends, because you, you find out who your real friends are once you become successful. It's true. It's like, watch how people, yes, yeah, Sag, watch how people respond to this newfound success. Just watch, Just look at their body language. Look, look at how they, they try to downplay your success in any way. Like, oh, you just got lucky. Does, like, that's really that's fucking rude no you didn't get lucky this was this was a slow process you worked on this and you're the same person i see something you're the same person who didn't believe in me and now you're trying to say i got lucky as if <laughs> now that i'm ahead of you you want to say that i don't think so i didn't get lucky my luck is that i believed in myself and i manifested it I manifested it because I believed. I believed it was possible. I just got that one quote in the Polar Express where he's like, I believe. Like It's almost like, I hear someone like chanting, you manifested this, Sag. You manifested what you wanted. If you would have, if you would have listened to those people that said it wasn't possible, you wouldn't have gotten there. You had a vision and you stuck to it. Let this be a lesson for anyone that's watching this, that's being told, because I think it's really important to say this, that's being told that what you're doing isn't practical, or you know those people that try to like make the life for you? They're always just in your ear, giving their opinion where it doesn't matter. Please always do, like if you have a vision and you think, you believe this is where you're meant to be, or you believe you could be successful in it, you, you know how to, um, What do they call that? Brace yourself and enjoy the journey. It's Cause some things, slow and steady wins the race, man. So, so some things don't come into fruition just yet, but you're not giving up. Don't let anyone knock your 
journey or how you do things oh, please because they're not the ones that are going to be celebrating with you yeah i just got someone's not celebrating with you remember how i said you find your true friends when you're successful i feel like you're finding new ones and these are your co-workers or something these are, these are the ones that supported you through the good times the bad times these are the people you want to surround yourself with. And isn't that funny how it works? Once you're living your true purpose, some people just drop like flies. The bad ones. The ones that just want to take from you or bring you down. But these guys don't. These are your friends. So it's a really healthy work environment. These are the ones that believed in you. You believed in them. But they're also appreciative of you because you, it was just a very healthy give and take here. Sag, I'm so proud of you, especially if, if I'm talking to the Sages that actually finally hit a milestone that seemed unreal in the past. You didn't just get lucky. You manifested this. You worked hard. This was not a fast process at all. This took time, effort. Slow and steady won the race in the end. It really did. So let that be a lesson that even if something's not coming quick enough, like, remember I gave my opinion, I was, I was actually discouraged because I wasn't getting results right away. But guess what? I'm going to keep at it. And some people aren't even approving of what I'm doing. But do I care? No. I don't give a fuck because a lot of people do support me. I found other people in t the tarot community. I follow, I'm very selective with who I follow on Twitter. Like, I follow people that make me feel good. I feel like this is the epitome of this. You're finding people, you're finding your soul tribe. You really are. People with the same interests, same, on the same level as you. We don't fuck with people that bring us down. You find out who your true friends are when you find success. You didn't get lucky, Sag. Fuck those people. <laughs> Say it with me now. Fuck those people. You didn't get lucky. This took time, sweat. I just got this took blood, sweat, and tears. This was that's yeah. This took tears. This was not an easy journey. And you proved all these people wrong. You you proved them wrong even when they were talking in your ear, telling you to stop. And then they have the nerve to say you got lucky. No, you manifested this through blood, sweat, and tears. And it's paying off. And I'm so proud of you. Seriously. I feel like right now you're actually just sort of celebrating your success. You're going out with friends. I'm getting drinks specifically, a toast. You know how in movies sometimes or at work events, you guys, I, I would make like a toast for change or something. You guys make a toast to all the hard work you did. Just like kind of like a speech. Each one gives a speech and talks about, says positive things about the other. You know what I mean? I say, I, I say that too. Some sort of conference, assembly a group meeting everyone's just having a good time maybe it's a work party damn sad i really love this i really do you pulled through you really you didn't just get lucky you manifested a new life okay sag i'm gonna end it there i hope you love the reading i'm really happy you you uh reached You've, you've literally, um, you're, you followed your dreams and it paid off. Don't listen. Even if it means losing them, don't listen to people that, that just want to, what do they call that? Those close-minded people that just want to knock on your dreams. For dream, for, God forbid you want to dream bigger and it's, all of a sudden you're just a weirdo. You, you, re, you refuse to conform. People don't like, in a world where you're, you're expected to conform, if you don't, you, you're looked at as some sort of weirdo. But you're not a weirdo. You're someone who just believes in themselves. There ain't nothing bad about that. Okay, Sag, please like, subscribe. Check out my other videos. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, expect a lot of videos coming up. I post all the time. I, well, I upload all the time. And yeah, I just hope for the best. Remember, those people aren't paying your bills. Always never stop grinding, never stop. Find out who your true, true friends are.
Bye, Fetch.